Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be attempting to install this gate and make it into a sliding gate so we can uh, slide in and out connected to a motor. So originally I did order a gate with installation that's meant to be a sliding gate. However, there was a couple of major defects. Here you go, some of the defects here. You got wavy panels, wavy panels over there, wavy panels over there. And also it was actually made the wrong color. It was meant to be shell gray, but it went with surf mist. And it's not actually long enough for the connection to the motor, which meant that the installers weren't able to install it. So they just dumped it here and uh, kept my deposit. So I'm going to just see if I can remedy the mistake that was made. So the first thing I did was I actually had to lift up the gate and rotate it. It was a bit tricky, but if you go extra slowly, you can do it on your own. However, if you have a second person, it will definitely help a lot. But now that's done, I've got a little bit of track I just bought from Bunnings. It's a U-shaped track and that's what the wheels get guided on. So I'm going to place it down and see if I can move the gate in the middle and correct one of the major defects to allow the gate to be installed to a motor. And as the track isn't riveted in, I'll just put my foot on the track. So when the wheels go over, it's not going to move it. There you go. Perfect. So I've got the gate here right bang in the middle, pretty much close. I've aligned at the center point of the concrete to actually mirror the front side. So it's nice and straight. However, if we look over here, this gate is just made as a normal gate and it's not actually long enough for the connection to the motor. So we're going to have to just, I'm going to cold weld a bit of post to allow it to reach the motor. So let's take a measurement and figure out how wide that is. So the way the motor connection works is that you get a rack and that gets connected over the motor and it slides along with the gate. If I just unlock this part, you can see that this slides along. So I've got an example here. You get a rack and you get these two peripherals and it slides over the motor like that. And then as the motor slides the gate, for example, closed, it hits that nozzle and it knows it will stop around there. And when it's opening up, or in this case closing, it hit that nozzle and you'll know to stop there. So that's what guides it. So in order for me to tell the gate to close here, probably want it to have a, a post extension about that much distance. So I picked up a post, this is aluminium fence post. Got it from Bunnings, about 50 quid. Now it's not the right color, but I'll spray paint it later. But all I'm gonna do is just use this saw to cut it to be 35 long, and then I'll cold weld it back onto the main gate. This is a slightly thinner sheet aluminium than what is used on the gate. For gates, you're meant to be using around three mils. I've probably got two mils, but yeah, you're meant to be using three mils. These are around one and a half mils. So it's not going to be as heavy or as strong as the gate, but I'm only using it just to carry that last bit of rack. So it should be all right. And I'll just use a file here just to smoothen out the material to make it not, not so uh, cuttable. Right, but before sticking it on, I'm just going to use some touch-up paint to see if I can get this to look a bit more like the gate. So this is off-white surf mist. All right, so it's now spray-painted surf mist, so it should match the existing. Look at that, looks gorgeous. And I also got this bracket from the roofing section of Bunnings, 85 cents. And I think I'll just do something like this to lock it into place for now. Well, just to fill up this gap and stop it fully rattling, just gonna use some silicone. So I'll just leave that there to set. It takes about 24 hours to be fully secure, but after about five, 10, up to half an hour, it gets pretty solid as it is. I use this stuff in my kitchen, holding my sink up. I used it 
everywhere. It's very, very strong stuff. All right, now that we've kind of extended the gate, added a little tail over there, it's time to attach on a post. Now with the post here, you just bolt it into the concrete and you just got to make sure that it's perfectly vertically up because we're going to use this to connect to the wall. So the way the post works is there is a sleeve over here just and you kind of get one of these brackets and this slides up here like that and depending on the height of your gate the gate track would roll the upper track would roll through this part here so it's time i guess we'll push the gate forward put the post on and slide the gate back on and it'll be nicely locked in but before we do that i just noticed some major rust on the base of my posts so what i'll do is i'll sand that back down get rid of the rust and then just put a bit of touch-up spray paint on the post and we're we're almost done patched up the rust on the post just gonna slot it in so let's now get the block in position will be something like that the right height boom now we're connected so i guess the track needs to be a bit closer so we just need to nudge up the track a bit to the left but there's plenty of space for the post to go in so at least one by the post it's all looking good dab the silicon there not to make you brittle and avoid rusting and all that stuff Right, so we got the post bolted in and the sliding gate track is actually nice and solid up there so we're making progress now we just need to make sure that the track is in a nice position so the gate here if i were to bolt this down you can see that it's slightly too much on the gear so i just measured this distance here and it looks like this needs to be four centimeters away so i'm just going to budge up the track to be four centimeters away there and then just have it go straight on the wall there by measuring this gap here and making sure that that gap is equal to the gap over here. And that is nice and crisp. I like that. That is nice and crisp. So we'll also test it out. You can see this is rolling really well and the gear is in line the whole way that's that's what you want that's marked circles so the furthest the wheel track goes is around here so I could cut it here but maybe it's best if I cut it just over this lip So in order to bolt the track into the concrete, I'm going to be using these masonry anchors. The only thing is, I don't really like the plasticky color. I think it would look nicer if I spray paint it aluminium. So now it's time to put on the rack for the gear on the motor. I've just dry laid them out. So it looks like I need one, two, three, four, four and a half pieces. The pieces can be chopped up. And the way they connect is you get receiver end and that just connects on like that. It's good if you have a spare piece as well, because then you can make sure that the gear is going to be 100%. I'm going to take this slowly and do this one by one and attach them individually just to make sure they go over the gear rack nice and smooth. So I can see when the gear and the rack is connected that the tip is right on the top of the bottom bar. So I'm just going to mark, mark that point here. In the kit that the racks come with is some square washers and some metal screws. So I'll use the official ones and I'll also use just some standard ones because I don't have enough of these anyway. 
so I slide in kind of like that put this one through there and into the hole like that and that should be nice I'm gonna dab it with a bit of silicon just to stop it from rusting in the future Alright, so I've got the rack on and I can see the gear is activated as it spins. So now it's time to just attach on the parts to automate the motor. And remember, they go on opposite ends like that. So I'll give it a rough estimate and then I'll start programming the motor and then I'll adjust it after we give it a go. So let me just plug this in. This is gonna close around here and when it opens it's gonna slide like that and when it hits that guy that's when it should be fully open again I know that it's not 100% perfect I just want to see if I can program the motor so let's open this up and get inside so I believe that's the setup button there there you go English direction left preset is automatic residential just one thing to note about the different modes so you've got automatic residential that means when you open the gate it will automatically close after 10 seconds semi-automatic means it will automatically open and you have to press the button to have it close and commercial i don't know i haven't tried those yet probably it operates faster yo and programming i'm going to say auto and it should start moving. It's pretty cool. So it's managed to do it on those presets. So it pretty much just touches the blades and stops within touching the blades. So it does it a few times just to confirm. And so all I need to do now is just adjust the wings to make sure that it's precisely closing at the right point. But it pretty much just, as soon as it flicks, as soon as it just touches that, it goes on a 45 degrees, that's when it stops. So that should be pretty fun to adjust. All right, we are officially done. Check it out. Opens and closes really well. The only thing left to do is just to install the catchers. This guy and uh, this bumper at the end, you put that two centimeters away just as a fail safe. But look at it there, the gate is open and best thing about it is when I close it, look, it's hopefully, I'm betting it's gonna line up right in the middle. Boom, three, two, one, come on. There you go, that is looking gorgeous. So yeah, nice solid gate, been unprofessionally installed. Pretty, pretty fun project, I gotta say. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some more screws in just to make the, the rack and the track fully hard and finish off with the catcher, but that is it. We've officially installed our sliding gate and our little bolt on extension is working well. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Right height, boom, let's make it better.